Hello, welcome to the Infinite Light Pendant webinar. So as always, we'll start with a breath to get into the heart space. So if you'd like to join me, simply close in the eyes, taking that deep breath in, and just moving right into the heart space. As we're in that heart space, we're grounded, connected, and right in the heart. All right, so again, welcome to the Infinite Light Pendant webinar. To give a little background on the Infinite Light Pendant, years ago, we tried making different tools out of silver. And back then when we were working with like the 144 megahertz and 177 megahertz, things like that, they created just really a fuzzy field. The silver would not hold that tensor field. Then with the golden fire rings, we were able to hold a working tensor field in the silver golden fire ring. Interesting thing though is, is that the silver ring is just as potent and powerful as the copper golden fire ring. So these two are the same energetically. But once the regeneration ring came along, that was such a higher frequency and higher connecting cubit measure and tool, we then made the first silver ring with the regeneration ring. When we made this little ring, we were blown away by it. It is such a clean, clear energy. So we had made this size of ring out of copper, but it's just no comparison in the regeneration ring. So then along the way, we added the golden fire infinity to the silver regeneration ring. And that is where we got the infinite light pendant. So the infinite light pendant, we call it that simply because it is bringing in an infinite light that is you. So the precursor to the infinite light pendant was the gateway pendant, the gateway to the soul. Now the gateway pendant, we saw this is bringing in our light more than what we've ever carried in the heart, in the human, in any incarnation. But with the gateway pendant, as it brought in all of those points of light that we are throughout existence within this universe as a soul, we were also having to integrate that. We were having to sometimes clear some of the things that brought in that no longer serve us. And plus it was bringing up the things through this lifetime that would be for to be released. And so when you were wearing the gateway pendant, you would have to be consciously aware of the things that come up, programs, beliefs, emotions, reactions, all of those things we'd have to be mentally aware of, take the breath in and release. And that was part of using the gateway pendant. Then with the, re, with, um, the silver regeneration ring and the golden fire infinity to create that infinite light pendant, it is doing the same as far as bringing in all that light that we are throughout this universe everything that the soul is, all those points of light, into the heart, into the physical body. But it is doing the clearing and the integration automatically. So this is a huge step up energetically for what it's doing from the gateway pendant. It just makes things more easy, automatic. So one of the things that we're seeing where this is working with the physical body the regeneration rings on their own, we are seeing that they are working within the physical cell, that they're bringing it to a higher spin rate, that they are clearing the stuff that our physical cell is the anchor for. It holds the emotions. It holds all the past life stuff, all the family lineage stuff, all that DNA lineage stuff. The physical cells hold that. So this is clearing those physical cells and it's clearing all the energies in between the cells, raising everything up in frequency and vibration 
clearing, releasing. So when you're wearing this pendant, it simply is, okay, I'll take a step back. When you're using this pendant, we're seeing this pendant as that interface, as a light that comes in. The silver blue light, uh, sorry, I'm gonna step back even farther so I can explain this whole situation very simply, concisely and easily, is that we're seeing that this is connecting into another universe. This is a universe that is out of duality. For the universe we are living in, duality has been the driving factor, the driving motivation for the expansion of creation. Where this connects into this other universe that is out of duality, it is the silver blue light that is shining through here. And there's little bits of gold that come through here from the golden fire. But this field, this light, this frequency, because this is beyond frequencies, but this light that comes through, the silver blue light, it acts as an interface to help our light, all that it is. So if we see, let's just say our soul is the culmination of everything that we are throughout this universe, all incarnations, everything that we are as a soul, that soul's light is what I'm referring to. So silver blue light is acting as an interface between the physical and our soul's light in its entirety to help that soul's light come more into the physical. So this is simply helping to interface between our light and our physical right here, right now, as this human sitting right here. So this is a big thing. This is something that, again, we've never carried this much light in our physical human incarnation before. This is just simply making it easier. This silver blue light from this pendant that interfaces with our light. Um, so when you're wearing it, when I first put this on, you would not believe the things I was wearing. I was wearing Untok the key. I was wearing the gateway pendant. Um, let's see. I was wearing a golden fire coil and I was wearing the three inch sun disc. I was wearing all of those things at once every day. This pendant comes along. I put it on and it was amazing. A few days later, my sister Brenda, she's like, hey, why don't you try taking off some of those others and just wearing that one once? I did. And wow, did I skyrocket. With all the stuff that I was wearing, I took all of the copper tools that I was wearing off. And these were some pretty high vibrating copper tools. I was only wearing this and I skyrocketed. This guy right here is bringing through such a cleaner, clearer energy than what any of the previous tools have. I mean, the silver blue light with that little bit of gold in it is just phenomenal. Something that we've never felt before. And of course, it's bringing in our full light in its entirety as well. So since that day that I took off all those copper tools, I have not put hardly any copper back on. I started wearing the copper Heka clasps again. Um, otherwise, it's just uh, it's just been the silver. And there's a, quite a few people who had this similar situation where they were wearing all their copper. My sister Brenda was one. A few other folks that work at the studio also noted that when they put on the infinite light pendant, that they felt to take their copper off. Now everybody's starting to integrate their copper pieces back in again, but it was for a few days to a week to weeks that, you know, we all just stepped away from the copper tools as we were first working with the silver light pendant. Now, not to say that the gateway pendant is any lower frequency and vibration, anything of that nature. The gateway pendant is still phenomenal. And there's still quite a few people who test very well for the um, for the golden fire coil as well. Um, most every person 
tests very well for this. Um, what I mean by testing is basically I do readings for people on what tools are best suited for them. And it's the soul that comes in and presents what tool would be best for them. So I'm just helping to interpret that. Um, majority of people, it has been this one. And so this can be a beginner's tool. It doesn't have to be an advanced tool whatsoever. Um, you can, anybody can wear this one. Even kids can wear this one. I have my daughter wear it when we go to the cities, things like that is, this is the new go-to to help you feel above it all. So if anybody does have any questions, please do drop them in here. Otherwise, using this, it's, it's amazing. When, when, when I wear it, and that's another thing about wearing this is from my personal experience, I've never wore pendants at night. I don't wear them in the shower. Since I put this on, I, have, I don't take it off. I sleep with it on. I shower with it on. Everything. Um, absolutely love this pendant. Um, so that silver blue light, it's something that you can, if you can visualize it, you can use this. Um, you, know, you don't have to visualize it, but if you can visualize it, you can use it distance. But if you just use this as like a little flashlight, seeing that it has a little beam of light of that silver blue and a little bit of gold, you can use this by distance work or just on yourself and place it on places that you need that extra little boost, that extra light. Or you can just do this through your imagination while in the heart space, visualizing that blue light. For me, I like to wear my pendant lower. It just feels really good about that heart level, about that heart chakra area. And sometimes I'll just visualize, imagine that as I go around, I just have this beam of light that is my light coming from my heart. That's golden fire and the silver blue light that just goes out and it just goes ahead of me wherever I go. Very transforming, one of our most potent and powerful tools to date. And of course, we also made the bracelets. And the bracelets are, again, the regeneration ring in silver, the golden fire infinity. So you can actually use the bracelet and it's going to be doing the same thing. Of course, the tools are, to me, are more fantastic over the heart area because they're connecting in to where our light is. But if you're wearing a bracelet, you have it in your field, it's going to be doing the same energy work. So anyway, um, they're solid silver, 0.99 fine silver. Um, and I'm not sure what else to say about this, but it's a super profound tool. I might want to mention where the, that silver blue light and where it comes from another universe. Now, if you've seen our other webinars or seen some of our tools like the wings of talk. So talk is a master healer of the blues and these blues, they're not and they're, they have wings and they're plasma beings really tall. They're not like the, the blue avians of Corey Good. They're not, um, they're not anything that's really been to the forefront at all. They've been in the background for just the past few years. And they've just really stepped forward once we started to work with these regeneration rings and these higher frequency of tools. And so that silver blue light where this connects into that other universe those beings, those blues, the plasma beings with the wings, those masters of many things, talk, he's just a master healer. Those beings are some of the ones that come from there. And again, this is a space out of duality. These beings are all here in the highest and best good. They work with our higher soul selves if we choose. So that's another thing about using the pendant is you can it holds the space. You can ask for that assistance if you so choose. Um, you don't have to, but these beings, like I say, master healers, masters of everything. And so they're just another part of 
our greater entourage, if you wish, that you can call in to assist. But then again, I'd rather just call in my own soul's light because these tools are just helping to bring in that soul's light even more. All of what you are. All right. Please do check out the feedback, the testimonials on the infinite light pendant. And again, we do have the, what is it? The silver blue light pendant too, where you can use just the ring because it is bringing through that silver blue light. But when you add the infinity and the golden fire, it just does a better interface with the physical. So I would sure recommend the infinite light pendant to anybody. All right. Thank you for being here. See you next time.